Advent 3, Black Bear. Walking the northern Michigan hardwoods where I was raised, restless, I make myself stand still. Somewhere in these 800 acres, a black bear is sunk in sleep. A month ago already, beneath some fallen tree or stump, she dug a den rounded to the curl of her body. She raked bits of bark and grass over its floor and eased herself in. I crouch, close my eyes, and imagine that ball of furred muscle lax and loose somewhere nearby. For weeks before she lay herself down, her whole self had been shifting, making ready for another life. Late in summer, just when most berries and nuts ripen, she grew ravenous. Seven, eight hours a day, she camped in wild raspberry, blackberry, gooseberry, and huckleberry patches, pawing and licking fruit into her mouth, then to rest, dropping to her belly and breathing in the fallen gems. Cloyed of sweet, she sniffed out savory, jewelweed, swamp thistle, cattail, and saxifrage, snacking on yellow jackets, ants, and beetle larvae along the way, finishing the day in a grove of beech nuts or hazelnuts or hickory nuts, tripling, even quadrupling her usual day's calorie intake. Still, the trustworthy voice inside her urged, eat, eat more. Lush, warm, the Indian summer days were lost on her. Her gaze was fixed ahead. Her every move food purposed, her intention fierce and singular, until the voice prompted an utter turnaround. Let go, it said. Go limp. The nut trees and berry bushes are skeletons now. Crouched in the snow-muffled quiet, I imagine hearing her slow breathing. I imagine smelling slow-burning bear. The fat she made from all those nuts, berries, bugs, and plants melting and fueling her sleep. She is shrinking except in the den deep inside her body. There, she is multiplying. Balls of cells swelling into new forms of her. Maybe she dreams of the life growing inside her. Did she foresee it all the while she ate and grew, ate and grew? Did she perceive it when she lay down? Whatever hints or none she had of its purpose, she knew absolutely a compelling urge. She obeyed that urge. And now, in its own time, while she sleeps, it takes shape. Two shapes. About eight weeks from now, while she still sleeps, the cubs will tumble out of her. Ten ounces each and blind, they'll find her nipples and set straight to nursing. While she sleeps, they'll nurse and grow, nurse and grow, their hunger draining her body's stores. In late March, when the air warms, she'll wake slowly. Imagine the moment when, spent and thin, she finds four bright eyes looking back at her.